Hey, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Brennan. This is Wednesday morning. I'm looking at the time. It's around 7.30. Uh, like I said, I, yesterday I said I was doing weekly videos, but actually I'm doing daily videos. So uh, today's video, I really want to talk about the benefits. You know, what are the benefits of social media marketing? Right? I know a lot of people are asking, you know, uh, when I'm in meetings and when I'm talking to people, they're talking about like lists uh, building a massive community, you know, what's the ROI on social media marketing. And to be honest with you, every client I've worked with, the ROI is not uh, financial. I mean, that's second, third down the road. I, I mean, I know it's hard to hear. I know people are, are probably watching this who are in business going, then why would I want to use social media if there's no return on investment right at the front? Return on investment is really the community itself, right? The relationships that you build. That's the return on investment. Because, I mean, one person that follows you can be worth, you know, 20 bucks. Or another person that follows you could be worth, you know, 10,000. And the reason why that is is because the relationship that you build up on a social site, uh, that person can be your extended sales force. They can promote you, and they could have a huge list. They could have a list and a huge community. Now I keep saying list, but let's like let's kind of give it the name that it really is. Is it's a huge community, uh, and when they have that huge community and they believe in you, they like again we look at the sales. People work with people they know, like, and trust, right? So when you look at that, if you build a community and a relationships in the in the social communities, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Uh, even with Pinterest, uh, you name it. I mean, there's so many social sites out there, but those are kind of the main ones. Even YouTube, I mean, YouTube's a social site. You build up a relationship in there, that's going to be your return on investment because a relationship's going to be valuable, right? And that's what the, the key thing is, right? It's not monetary value where I'm going to sit there and pitch and sell. And that's the challenge that a lot of companies run into is that they get on the social sites and they think, you know what, I'm going to build up a list of, you know, 500, 1,000, 5,000, 50,000 people, and I'm just going to keep promoting and selling and pitching and selling, and they're going to buy. People are going to buy because, you know, I'm the best product or, you know, I'm the, the greatest product and the first product, whatever that may be, or even service, right? Whatever that, you know, uh, whatever your business model is is using to generate revenue. So if it's a product or service, People think that they get on these social sites and it's like the lottery. You're just going to put it out there and people are going to buy it. It's not how it works, right? I'm going to tell you that right now. And that's why like, I keep changing my, my social networks and working with my community and not pitching and selling on my own, right? And what I practice what I preach. If I don't pitch and sell on my own, I don't tell my clients to do the same. I tell them to educate. I tell them to, you know, provide great content, information, 80-20. Talk about, you know, the 20% is generally events, things that are going on. Maybe some promotions, but it's very, very limited. I don't do it too much. I mean, I tell them generally maybe once a month, right? Every, you know, four weeks, have a promotion, have, you know, a contest, whatever that may be. But the other 80% needs to be customer service, customer relations, uh, relationship building, engaging, interacting, having fun. That's what social media is about. That's what social networking is about. And now the media part, I mean, yeah, it's content, it's information, it's articles, videos, right? Blog posts, whatever that may be, you know, uh, podcasts, audio. But providing content, providing information, education, how-tos, right? Helping your community whatever business you're in, uh, learn more about you, your products, your services, right? And being able to test it, try it out, as well as learning about you. I mean, that's the most important thing is, is they learn more about you because they want to know. Is there, is the, are you someone that they can trust? Is it someone that like, they, they really like to work with? Is it someone that they, you know, they trust, you know, if they're going to buy a product or service, service with? Is there going to be any challenges? You know, if there is any challenges, are you available to support and help them? I mean, even doing an assessment, I do assessments on companies on their social sites. And one of the biggest challenges I find, to be honest with you, is that on the social media sites, people are not doing their customer service there on those mediums. Biggest challenge. Right? And like I said, uh, let's give you an example for like Twitter. Clients are coming for, say, for example, like me, I was I'm a client. I'm saying, you know what? I'm having a problem. I'm tweeting that. I'm having a problem with your product service. Can you help me? What I'm finding is one, companies are, are not responding. Two, companies are actually going from uh, 
instead of, you know, tell me more information there on Twitter, what they're doing is they're saying, okay, well, why don't you call our 1-800 number and one of our customer service uh, reps will help you. And to me, that's not good customer service. If I'm an irate c client, you know, uh, you know, a consumer of your product, and I'm upset and I'm frustrated and something's going wrong, the way to do customer service, and this is just my recommendations up to you guys. I mean, I've been in customer service for 15, almost 17 years. Oh my God, I'm old. Well, 17 years. And first and foremost, if a guy tweets you and says he has a problem with his product, I would have my customer service people contact him on Twitter, ask him if we could call him, all right, or contact him, send us a direct DM, like a uh, direct message with your contact information. We'll call you, we'll, we'll go that extra mile. Because what happens is I've taken, as a client, I've taken the leap to open my, you know, my objective that, you know, I'm having a problem and, and I'm, I'm frustrated for you to make me to jump through hoops to get that solution. It's not good. It's not good customer service. That's just my recommendation. What I see, what would I would recommend is if someone tweets you, someone puts it on Facebook, someone puts it on Google Plus, you contact them, you connect with them and you get your customer service people to contact them directly. Say, look, you know what? I understand you have a problem. Is there anything we can help you right here on Facebook? And guys, little insider information. If you help them on Facebook, more people will see what you're doing, what customer service you're providing. They'll understand that you really care about your clients, right? The value that, you know, on top of not even just your product yourself, but your customer service and, and your support, pe other people will see it. If you just, even one person comments and makes like a, a like a, a question about a product and service, if you put that on your social sites, all your community sees that and they see how you care about your community. They care about your clients. See, and that's why I do what I do. It's not the point that I'm trying to do like PR and public relations. I want people to know that I really do care. I really do want to provide support. I want to be out there. I want to help. Well, if you do that with your product and service, your other clients and potential clients will see that. And they'll value your product and service even more now because they understand it's just not about the revenue that you're generating. It's about, you know, your product can help a challenge or even, you know, help someone, you know, overcome something. Or maybe it's something people really just want. Like it's a dream, right? You know, uh, computer for me, I'm an IT guy. So, you know, MacBook Pro is whatever. I like it because, you know, I get to play and do all these things. If I had a problem and I went on the Apple's Facebook, say, uh, fan page and said, look, you know, I have a problem with that. And their customer service said, you know what, just do this, this, and this. This will hopefully resolve your problem. And other people in the community saw that. Guess what? Now you have people that are going, you know what? They really do care. They really do. They don't, they're just not about their product and service. They actually go that extra mile. So guys, that's what my video is today. You know, the, just the benefits of social media marketing and, and how to use it properly. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, comment below. Uh, I have this on like all the social sites, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever that may be. Comment. I'm always watching just to see and how I can, you know, just respond and help you guys out. And let me know what other videos you'd like me to do. I mean, right now I'm just kind of going off the cuff and stuff I see and just going through my journey of what, you know, I see day to day and, and working with my and I keep calling them clients, but really they're my business friends. I joke around with them. I have fun with them. I mean, that's what I'm really about, right? I'm about helping and just providing value. So, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.